Welcome, Master Dammers. My name is Peter White, and uh, welcome to the show called Master Dam. Uh, if this is your first time watching, get ready. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm here with uh, <laughs> some excellent people. I like the new, that. The new grandfather, Joel Elber. Granddad, granddad. We'll talk about that in a few. And the one and only legendary Don T. Uh, thank you very much. That's a lot of BS, but I appreciate it. Uh, legendary. <laughs> Legend I, I agree with that. Did Definitely you just say the legend. word lunging? No, uh, legendary. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you are, you're a classic. It's a rumor. Well, Is he a classic <laughs> or a class act? Uh, I'm going to say a classic. That's Thank not, you. That Thank sounds you better than a class act. Oh, you're a class act. I'm a class ass. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, you can't be. You're a moose. Yeah, well, I'm a oh moose. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Do you see what they just had on there? That smack thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Are you God. all about this? Are you kidding me? We're all I, stars in the dope show. All people, you know, really... Huffing is one thing, and now they want to take <laughs> That's this, okay, right, They want to take... No, maybe not. I'll tell you, it's not... I've seen... Uh, <laughs> Huffing's not good. I, are you kidding me? Did you say humping? Oh, no, my God. Humping. Joel doesn't it's, even know what huffing is. It's Wednesday. I know it's hump day, but let's get over the humping part, okay? We're talking about people... Forget about the humping part. I read The people that are out of control. Out of control. When you take something that's supposed to be a pot <laughs> pourri, and then they made it pot for me, what the heck is that? Oh. All right, well, this is that smack stuff that's oh. going around. This is the tropical punch flavor. I believe this flavor is safe. <laughs> As a matter it's safe to <laughs> smoke this As a tropical punch. As I believe it's the bubble gum oh. and the pineapple. Because it's so Jamaican, man. <laughs> As a matter of fact, guys, I had that for Isn't dinner. Isn't it great how they mark? I had that for dinner. I had that for dinner. <laughs> I'm telling you, you had smack for dinner? I did. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Well, I believe it. I put it in a bowl with some milk. It was just like having sugar smacks. <laughs> <laughs> no, but look how they're mad. You know, they say it's just incense, right? They say it's just incense. That's right. Boy, and boy. it's not. People are smoking it. It says right on it, not for human consumption. Right. But you know what the funny part is? Where's if, John Eric O'Neill? Where you know, is the funny part? Because you always say that there's extra he, sum, substance in it, but, yeah. they don't, but they don't clarify what the substance well, is. Yeah, you know, they do. What it well, says. Well, okay. They change it. They change it to, to be applicable, uh, uh, sorry, uh, but to be with the laws. When it says not for human consumption, <laughs> and then it's somebody incense. goes, oh, no, man, it's good. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> and other people fall in line behind that. I mean, come on. I know people want to get, you know, people want to get, you know, people want to get high. Seeds. There's people uh, out there you know, in this world that want to get high. You want to get fuckwad. Holy cow. It's <laughs> Plus, they want to get laid and parlayed and tattooed on top of getting high. <laughs> well, that might happen after you get <laughs> smacked. <laughs> That's right. Uh, what is your favorite uh, smack, by the way? No, <laughs> no, no. A kiss, a kiss on the lips is my favorite smack. Oh, okay. That's no, right. serious though, that smack stuff is hilarious. <laughs> if you smoke smack out there, give us a call at four one three zero two two three. That's that spice stuff flying around. Yeah. And if you have it, smoke it up and give us a call. We'd love to hear hear yeah, from you. Yeah, we want to we want to find out if there's, you can actually there's people talk. out there. <laughs> There's people okay. out there. There, there. there is people out there that are, that are demanding it because it's legal. Yeah. They're demanding it back. They don't care if they die. You know, <laughs> I mean, you know, just like anything else, you know, if you're, what's the moron all the way? Well, the look moron. at the stuff. Look at the guy in the cover of this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Smacked. He's not too happy, is he? <laughs> I don't know. He looks fine. He looks like Moose after a bad day. <laughs> looks like he's watching me TV. Uh, he, Moose is like this. <laughs> Uh, she never ate any of the food at the restaurant. I can't believe it. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you guys, uh, besides Smack, that there's two others out there. There are? Uh, oh, they are. And number one, and one is called Crazy Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and the other one is called Green Giant. <laughs> now, Green Giant. And I got I go both with. of them tonight. <laughs> I, go, I go with the Green Giant. You, because, you sampled you know, both tonight? I, I did. <laughs> Just look at me. <laughs> You sampled both spices tonight? Well, somebody had to, to uh, you know, geez, and see how it is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's legal. 
It is. And it I is. think well, both right. of them were not effective. <laughs> what do you think? Well, he thought his son, he thought his son-in-law Robert was his brother-in-law. Well, that well, he was effective. <laughs> yeah, he was well, effective. Well, yeah, that's right. By by smoking the uh, by the crazy the, the crazy monkey in the green affecting my uh, memory a little yeah, bit. Yeah, you had a memory. Well, well, well yeah, I, I, I can, used I to. He says, "Yeah, <laughs> don't smoke that <laughs> uh, get, synthetic <laughs> spice. That's yeah, not good." Yeah, but no, no, he didn't smoke it. He just <laughs> lit it as it's supposed to be as a pot pari, and he <laughs> inhaled it. <laughs> and he did both at the same time as he was telling me earlier tonight. And that's why he has this euphora. Uh, and that's why he is the moose again, because <laughs> I'm a tanning human. He I look <laughs> great. I am great. He didn't know he didn't know what it was. You know what I mean? Well, he, he does now. Well he just oh, fell yes. he fell for the funny packaging. John, can you put that back up there, the funny guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that, he, look how prettier he is than that picture. No, Tropical Punch is okay, well, I heard. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, but there's other flavors, like Juicy Fruit, uh, Double Mint. <laughs> oh, I had uh, no idea. Yeah, Good and Plain. Yeah, stuff really? like that. Oh, abs- oh yeah. Yeah, the, the, yeah. Uh, the one ate my family is not good. <laughs> the one eight? Ate my family. That's not the one you want to use. <laughs> That's down in the south. It's really? Oh. Very bad. It's funny though. It's 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 sad because we got on national news because it was like over forty eight, forty. Yeah. I, I I guess the uh, number is not really right there. People no. are saying over fifty and overdosing off this uh, stuff. Uh, no, there were people that overdosed. Well, that's which, fine. Which they is, overdosed, you know, which is called how stupid I was trying to every thirty <laughs> seconds. Hello. <laughs> come on. Yeah, it's not right. Oh, uh, come on! If you're smoking this stuff and you're gonna uh, and you're gonna overdose, come on, cut the crap. <laughs> well, I'd like to mention Don Pardo, oh, one of the greatest announcers of T, all time. T. He came in the radio uh, back in the '30s. He did everything on the radio world, and then of course he became very famous announcing for the one and only Saturday Night Live. First, from ninety-six Jeopardy. years old, he did the Saturday Night Live for forty years. You know, and I again, we just like to say, hey, bless you, brother. We're with it. Uh, you know, a great career. Don Pardo, That's fantastic. Right. I will say it's a gem. Uh, it, it, oh, yeah. It's sad. Yeah. You know, Don Pardo, you familiar? Yeah, I'm Don, yeah, sure. yeah great. Great yeah, guy. Yeah, a lot of, uh, he did game shows too, correct? Yeah, yeah Jeopardy. Yeah, he did yeah, plenty besides, of them. Besides uh, SNL. But SNL, he did he forever. Was, uh, he was much younger then. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, um, Manchester, it's uh, 1013. Uh, give us a call at 413-0223. You're here with the, uh, with the great uh, uh, T. Tibbetts. Uh, How you been? Uh, the only one, Peter White. Put uh, your spice Moose. down. And uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a challenge out there because I have two. Who can three- smoke the most spice tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that's not the challenge. Let's hope that. As a matter of fact, oh. it is the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Over 15 oh, more overdoses because of that show. Oh, my <laughs> okay. gosh. So I don't think so. I'm going to throw out two trivia questions out there, people. Okay. And oh whoever boy, gets the right go. answer would, uh, would take you out to the back room. Nice. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, the first question is. I hope I guess one. Okay. Uh, in 1967, <laughs> the first edition of the Rolling Stone magazine, who was on that cover? I'm going to oh, say, go okay, and part B, it's a sports question. Yeah. Um, what National League park you can take your pet into the park? Wow, oh, pet those co- are two pet good co- questions. Park. <laughs> pet co- <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Pet co- okay. no, no, close, though. Well, I still have one more chance at yeah, a dinner from go. the back room. Dinner from the back room. Okay, and I'm going to say, uh, uh what was the other question? Which one? <laughs> well, there's two one. And, and that goes for you callers out there. So join in. You can guess. Uh, 1967, uh, the first edition of the Rolling Stone magazine. Who was, was on, on the, the cover? cover? The second uh, part B is name the ballpark. And I'll even I'll even not throw, I'll, I'll even yeah, say pets National in. League park. Uh, you can bring Ooh, your bring uh, pet uh, uh, into the your park. <laughs> I'm a, okay. I know it's not the Cincinnati Reds John that Lennon. park because uh, that woman uh, they had to get rid of her because at the time she was actually cooking pets. 
<laughs> so that was okay. Really? So um, this is to the callers and yeah, yeah John Lennon uh, covered and, the and, first and, Rolling Stone. And, and, I'll say. And and I'm I'll not, say I'm not going to answer Lennon. to you. I, I'm with the callers. I'm, I'm asking. To, I'm saying John Lennon. No, I'm, I'm not going to answer Rolling you. Stone. I'm Why? Gonna, don't answer you. Well, no. why'd you ask us the question? It's because, for the callers out there to yeah, win. Not, well, not I don't for know us. And you're wrong already. Oh. Anyway, not so. for us. I can take you. I can oh, take you guys sorry, out to the Jay. back room yeah, anytime. Yeah. Is it that guy from the smack? Uh... Nah. <laughs> right? Hey, I'll tell you right now, right. it's not John Daly either, who has a whole <laughs> new friend? career with loudmouthpants.com. You buy these pants, and all the crazy, all the crazy golf pants you want to have, you go to loudmouth.com, and you see them. And I'll tell you, you can design any pant you want. If you want to go pirates, you can go pirates, but, but, you, know, you, don't want, you, you know, I mean, real pirates, you know, not you what know, if, what if baseball I want, team. What if yeah. I want to get smacked? Well, yeah, they'll probably have a lot of hands slapping people in the face. It won't be like this. Oh, no, no, no. It'll be much different. They're, it's very, very wild. Of course, be prepared to pay $110. To Where's John Eric O'Neill? Uh, he's with two fine, uh, he's, he, he's occupied right now, Peter. Yeah. Ah, oh, that's right. Yeah, you he's better change that. So, you better uh, change that angle. So let uh, so let uh, uh, Eric uh, O'Neill let him relax. Let him do his thing. He's hey, been here for about eight like, or nine hours. Let him be like Wilt Chamberlain. How many girls did he have? <laughs> Over two thousand. Twenty thousand. We have wow. to say happy birthday to Wilt Chamberlain. Seventy-eight today. Wilt hey. the Stilt. On that note, you're for us tonight on Amsterdam. Hi, Gary. You're on the air, Gary. Hey, man, what's up? What's going on, man? Hey, did you already get an answer for the first cover? Not uh, yet. Only Stone. Not yet. What's your first guess? My first guess is John Lennon. Okay, correct. I got that. Hey. It's, yeah. yeah but I gave it to you, Gary. I gave that answer <laughs> to you. <laughs> actually, I, is actually it? I did what anybody would do, I Googled it, man. Uh, <laughs> I was right, Moose. Okay, uh, is, is this, I'll take you up. You're so Googleific. Is this the infamous Gary from Florida, T's brother? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Now, who do you think Poppy is with the uh, with the National League? One guess. What's that? What's that? The park from the National League baseball arenas that allow <laughs> pets to come in. Oh man! Yeah, that's the second half of the show over there, buddy. Yeah, I didn't. I, I had to turn everything down so I could talk to you guys. I didn't get that part. Oh, okay. Oh my uh, gosh! I don't, I, I don't know that one. Yeah, you know, I, I would make a guess, and I would say uh, <laughs> Arizona Diamondbacks. <laughs> you telling me? I, I'm, I'm, me? Not, I'm not even sure. Oh, okay. All right, so. We'll so, get to that later. So you're taking basically you're taking me and Gary out to the back room. I never said no. Yeah. yeah. No, no, I said I could take yeah, you well, any time to the back room, Peter. Well, RT. I, I got that right though. I know, but you didn't get Pop B right. This you have to answer two pots. That's right, two, two pots. Yeah, I thought it was two dinners. You said no. I didn't say no oh, two no. dinners. Oh. I said no Pop <laughs> No, he said two right. dinners. Tea. No. All right. Well, let's move on. That's right. That's right. When I when I come up, we'll all go out to dinner, and that'll be fine. Hey, Gary. Oh, yeah, we'll do that, Gary. It'll be hilarious. Hey, Gary. Uh, oh, thanks, Gary. We'll definitely be there. Thanks. Hey, Gary. Uh, hey, uh, tell, yeah. Yeah, Go tell ahead. us about your vacation, your nice five- or six-day cruise. Oh, my God. That was absolutely unbelievable. Did went you down mean? to the Bahamas. We went to uh, Freeport and, and uh, Nassau. And you know what? It. I actually stayed on the boat while everybody got off, and I got to use everything while everybody was gone. It was great. <laughs> so did you meet Cher? <laughs> no, I didn't meet Cher, but I got to tell you what. the um, They have a comedy club on the boat, and I'm not done. T, you, you were dying. It, it was the funniest, funniest thing. We laughed so hard. It was unbelievable. That is cool. Laughter is great. Yeah, you know, we went we went to the comedy club every night. They have they have a, a one at ten o'clock for like you can bring kids and stuff. But we went we went to the ones that were at eleven and twelve o'clock, and it was just absolutely hilarious. That that's absolutely a real fun. yeah. 
Did they do any jokes about Robin Williams? Nah, uh, well, that was before, that was before William, you know, before everything happened. So, oh yeah, okay. You know, unfortunately, it was very tragic. But uh, I, yes. I, uh, uh, we were talking the other day about Robin Williams and the, you know, his video that he does a stand up about yeah. how golf was invented. Oh yeah! Oh that, my God! That is how. Ow! It's movie. another hole. <laughs> oh yeah, that is unbelievable. He does a great job on that thing. Ow, you yeah, gotta yeah. hit it to another yeah. hell. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey Moose, Moose, I wanted to say congratulations on becoming a grandfather. Oh, thank you so much, Granny. Yeah. Yeah, I appreciate that. John, thank can we? You. Do you but have I, that I picture? Gotta, I gotta tell you that it's 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 very funny because my boss, uh, Congressman Buchanan, just became a grandfather this past Sunday, also. So it was like, all right. His first time? First time? Is there a picture? Uh... First time, his very first grandchild. Wow, oh, wow. Nice, nice. Congrats. Nice. Wow, yeah, that kid's, it's, that it's kid's tough, taking care of. <laughs> yeah, my little boy is doing well. Uh, um, uh, his name is Lucas Adam Cowell. Oh, that's awesome. Cowell. Yeah. It's Cowell. Cowell. It's Cowell. Cowell. And the baby, uh, the baby weighed nine and a half pounds and almost twenty-two inches long. Really? Yeah. How long is that? Oh, long. Oh, that's awesome! Congratulations! That, congratulations! That's great. Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that, Gary. Thanks, and, Gary. And everything awesome. else. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So, um, all right. Um, Don't forget to say hi to that little woman you with. She's cute. Oh, uh, Tara. Yeah, she's doing great. She's she's actually working tonight. So. Uh, Oh, that's I'm going to get her to watch your show one of these nights. Wow, well, you can right always off. just to record it. <laughs> <laughs> it's on YouTube yeah. now also. Yes, I know. I, I John Eric. Some, uh, some of the, the, the uh, YouTube stuff that you guys have up there, so it's great. Cool beans, man. Jeez, you yeah. get the guy some pretzels, well, and then it just yeah. go, all goes to hell. Okay, my friend, uh, thanks for calling. And um, that's uh, a, a good friend, uh, a T's brother, all the way from Florida. Where in wow. Florida, Bradenton. T? Yeah. Bradenton. Bradenton. Bradenton, yeah. Yeah. He's the uh, driver Down. and security guy for... Uh, Jay-Z. Uh, Buchanan. <laughs> Jay no, yeah. Con Congressman <laughs> Buchanan. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Boy, there are, you, are we missing out the party uh, next door? All right, what's going well, on I next mean, door? Well, I mean, there's... there's uh, I don't even know what, what you're talking about. What is next door to here? Uh, well, right I don't next even door, know. Right, right over my shoulder, T, there's, there's uh, two no, beautiful No, right over your shoulder. It's smack. No, they're over there they're hanging out with John about. Eric. Yeah, and there's uh, a John Eric. I mean, and we bought him pretzels, and and wow, that's, oh. uh, wow, I'm... I'm fascinated. You well, are. I'd like to I say am. I'd like to say that I hope people are watching the Little League uh, World Series because it's been a fantastic event as far as any team you watch. The kids are so young. I mean, you know, twelve years old, eleven, nine. You know what I mean? They're in their their little prime, but they get a chance to go to the World Series. And this girl, the uh, Monin Davis, uh, for, for Pennsylvania. Uh, pitched the first shout-out a girl ever pitched in her life. Having a little trouble tonight. Uh, she's playing against uh, Las Vegas, Nevada. And uh, those kids, I don't know if you've seen it on the TV, but those kids are big. You know, she's only 5'2". And these kids are like, you know, 5'9", five 5'10". Five and they swing it back good, and they want a fastball. And her fastball was 70 miles an hour. Imagine that. Yeah, that's what they said. I pitching. heard that also. You know, fantastic for that girl. She was on Sports Illustrated this yes. week. What Joel and says is a curse. Is a, uh, Yeah, I, I believe in that. For a career. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact. What do you think? As a matter of fact, baseball is not even her favorite sport. Basketball is. What are you going to tell me is? Basketball is, and she wants to go to, to a, the uh, UConn. Wow. University of Connecticut. How to, about uh, that? Now, yeah, that's a nice right. thing. I thought you were going to say croquet, oh. and she makes, like, sweaters like you, you can't believe. But I'm glad you <laughs> brought us back to the real world and uh, wants to go to UConn. That's rad. Chicken. That's cool. I, I heard I heard it was chicken tenders for everybody tonight <laughs> at the back room, courtesy of Moose. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Peter White, I never got that memo. Yeah. <laughs> I never oh, got yeah. that memo, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I thought that. Yeah, wow. But, uh, you know, good luck to her. And I think they were losing like 3-1 to one or 4-1 to tonight. 3-1, to one, yeah. yeah. The last so, time we saw uh, it, yeah. we don't know what the final is because we're... Uh, we're, uh, and she's all done pitching, too. She did her five innings, and then the other uh, boy came in, and uh, he gave up a home run, so that's why it's, you know, but it's tough. But the kid had a great career. You know, he's having a great career. What the heck? Yeah. You can't, you know, you can't take it away from her. Yeah, I mean, good luck to her, and uh, someday uh, you might see her on the Wheaties box. <laughs> As a basketball player for you, Klein. <laughs> you think the moose can get on the Wheaties box? You can, but you need a gimmick. Really? Yes. Well, that'd be easy for me. Well, you got to get the right gimmick. I mean... Uh, you got to get the right gimmick. I mean, right now, uh, without antlers, you're not, on a, <laughs> a, a, you're not on the box. How about the nose pops out? A 3D box. No, well, that, well, well, that will so come. Good. That could be the first thing. You never know. But first, it's the gimmick. A 3D giving, box, but they couldn't put them. Si- they couldn't put them side to side because the nose would be sticking out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> hey, I want to give a, a big, big shout out uh, to last week's guest. Uh, uh, guys, got to help me out with uh, with Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, yes, yeah, Stephanie yeah, Dupuy, Steph- yeah, yeah. Our little hair stylist. Yeah, thank you so much, Stephanie. Here, Peter, and the one and only man without the antlers, the moose. Yeah, she took and, care of two dudes in one night. And I'm going to tell you, she's a... <laughs> she's a oh, oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Aren't Got you a dude? Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were saying... Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, uh, I, I don't know how many times I... She, uh, uh, a great resemblance of Kate, Kate Hust, uh, Hudson. <laughs> John, can you put up that other picture of that Kate other Hudson. lovely lady wow. I have so, on the uh, stick tonight? Uh, oh, my freaking word. What, uh, what's the name of her salon? That lady with the curly uh, hair? It's Michael Thomas Salon. And it's right as you go towards uh, the Fisher Cats on the right hand side. 55. There you South go. Look, nice. look, who's, look over here, Moose. Oh, wow. Oh. That's your mom who that, turned 88 this week. That is correct. You were, you were wrong about 89. Well, she said she was born in 1924. Okay. Well, 1925. But the, what a beautiful she lady. When she yeah, was a flapper. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Uh, me. You and, weren't there. Why don't we give her a call right you now? You weren't there. Uh, no, she's sleeping right That's now. That's all right. Wake her up. <laughs> Wake her up. <laughs> <laughs> but Saturday night, uh, my sister and I took her out, uh, out to dinner, and we had a great time. And it she was looks a hot great. ticket. Fabulous. She's and, a hot ticket. Yeah, she is. And, In her uh, little frock of love that she's wearing. And Sunday, the whole family was there with presents. And her name's Shirley. Yeah, Shirley, yeah. Shirley. So, uh, so happy birthday, Mom. I love you so much. There you go. Yeah. Wow, to put up with your BS, I yeah. bet. <laughs> yeah. I can she, imagine. She's the love of my life, no doubt. Wow. Yeah. Now, do you have other siblings, or is there only one moose in the family? No, I got a sister. Yeah. And Eileen. Is she, she only a moose has one or is she regular? Uh, Eileen is her name. She only has one leg. Get away from me. (laughs) (laughs) She has two legs, but her name is Eileen. Yeah, yeah. 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 But she only has one arm. (laughs) (laughs) Does she really? No. No. Are you kidding? (laughs) Oh, my God. God. Wow. uh, uh, um, Do you know this is the biggest school vacation (laughs) week? Because the no, it's called back. the summer. What the hell are you right. talking about? No, what I'm saying is that. What are is, you saying? No, what I'm saying is, T, that okay. the, and, and of course, me, that, uh, that. Thanks, the, Joe. That, that, for you including are, me. This is the biggest school, uh, I'm not school, uh, the, the last hara- vacation yeah. that the kids are on because they start school next week. So right. it could be a slow night. That's why maybe the, maybe uh, they didn't pay the, the uh, phone bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh what? But I knew it was going to be because I think everybody's away. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, I'd like to uh, <gasps> clarify what you just tried to say, and I'd like oh, to say that uh, the kids aren't the ones that are going to be calling here. They're in school. They're young. They're not. It's summertime. The man. parents might be the one calling here. Had, by the way, we had, uh, Other than that, uh, uh, you really were on a beam there for a second, yeah. and then you lost it. And I thought you hit your head, but we didn't find that out. And, you know, upon research, we could find that you maybe did hit your head. But, you know, neither here nor there. Uh, I would just like to say that uh, <laughs> the NBA ref, Dick Bravada, <laughs> is retiring after 39 years in the NBA, Moose. 39 no. years in John the Eric, NBA. Really? Wow. Yes. Dick Vendetta. 
2,635 regulation games in a row. He never, ever missed a game to ref in the NBA. He had 270 playoff games and 27 NBA Finals, and he is gone. And we are happy because he blew his whistle too much. I hate the guy. Get rid of him. I'm so happy. <laughs> well, he was he he was very quick on the T's technicals. Oh, well, so, yeah. <coughs> you are correct, yeah. Peter. You look uh, you look kind of stunned looking around. Well, well, I've been I, on I, the same camera angle for about 45 minutes now. Oh, so this is what's bothering uh, PW. No, it's not. I'm gonna get rid of. Well, okay, what yeah, Peter. Did he hit his head? Go, why don't you go do some research, Peter? Uh, Tina, go do some research. Yeah, well, yeah, Tina. Uh, oh. Tina. Yeah, Tina. Tita. Tita. <laughs> Tita. T. I called you Tita. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, That's because you got that Yankees crap in you. That's funny, Moose. Well, what are you, what are you saying yay for? What do you see out there? Nothing. Oh, okay. So, uh, you know. I was I was mesmerized by the beauty of your mom. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great looking uh, pic uh, picture. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. So, have you guys ever thought of getting dirty? <laughs> Me and her? No. <laughs> Not you and her, you bonehead. What? You and him. Are you are you serious? Yes. Dirty. I'm talking in the mud. Oh, that dirty. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I never thought about that. Because you can play in the mud bowl. The mud bowl is going to be in uh, North Conway. Uh, the first weekend of September. And the Mud Bowl Sharks, who uh, my friends play for. And the Mud I, Bowl Sharks? Yes, I've been a part of it a couple You're of years. You're in it? No, this year I will be gone. <laughs> I have to go to Florida. I'm bringing my uh, in-laws back to Florida. So you're trying to recruit Shirley Elber? No. <laughs> no, uh, she would not be involved in the Mud Bowl. I wow. know that. I know that as a Why is fact. it rough? Is it rough? Oh, it's deep. You're in, like, you know, <laughs> Lenny Pappas is going to try and do it this year. Really? Yep. Yep. So you might well, be gone for for a great premiere if you're going to Florida at the middle I'll of I'll be gone a couple of weeks, yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah. Where do you stay with Gary? No. I, I, I <laughs> stay with the team. <laughs> We're bringing my in laws back to Orlando, Florida. I will visit my brother during that uh, regime, but. You know, their health is like, mm, so we got to get them back down, you know. They came up on the auto uh, train, and uh, then they got off in Maryland, you know, Washington area. Then they drove the new car. They got a Fusion. Uh, <laughs> That's 12 uh, hours. All the way up here. It's about 12, you know? so they hit the and turnpike. Then, you know, no. Now, Roger's got, you know, he, you know, He's got some appointments he's got to go to. And, uh, you know, I mean, once they get in the mid 80s, they get a little, you know, a few problems, whatever. So, anyway, so it gotta, happens. We got to take them back down and get on it. And uh, that'll happen. Uh, but the Mud Bowl is, uh, if you've never been, it is unbelievable, really. You, you have so much fun. Uh, they have the beer tents, they have the food tents, and you, you know, you have a chance, it's like a corral around the top, so you can see them uh, participating, you know? And of course, I always say, the quarterback rules Mud Bowl. Because if right. the quarterback doesn't get sacked, if he can, you know, maneuver, you're gonna get that open guy for the right. touchdown, you know? So, right. that's you're, how I am with it. Are you guys excited for uh, uh, football season? Oh, I'm monster. I'm out of, I, I, baseball's nice, but you know, it's, it doesn't have the intense hitting that football has. <laughs> so I'm psyched for football like crazy. Because when it becomes real, now people are going to, you know, it, it, all this little beep, beep, you know, the little bumps. Oh, oh, I almost intercepted. Oh, oh, oh. All of a sudden, when it becomes real, then you're going to see some people flying. I yeah. think football is the biggest betting sport and then in the other sport. I really do. You know, uh, there are so many different things you can get into. Uh, I mean, way beyond fantasy football. Yeah. You know, there's the things you can get into where you, you know, you pay a certain price. Yeah. And all you have to do is pick a one winner every week. But you can't pick that same team again. Let's see, if right. this, you know? let's see if this calls a winner, T, and uh, PW. You're next tonight on Amsterdam. 
You just hung up on the person. No, I didn't. I just pressed a button. You're well, on the air. I'm on the air. <laughs> I hope so. What can we do for you tonight? I want to congratulate Moose for being a grandfather. Oh, nice. oh well, thank you so much, Mr. Alderman of War 12. <laughs> you knew who it was, huh? I did. I didn't know. Oh, you didn't? I happened to be calling for the charity called ALS. Oh, boy. I'm waiting for Peter White to dump a bucket of ice water over his head on the air. Oh, oh here wow. we go. There's a challenge. I can't do it on the air. This There's is a rug. A There's rugs in here, Keith. I bought a teacup with two pieces of ice in it. I, I don't even think we can do that. I'm no, I got ice right here, but I'll tell you, we can do it out in front of a live... We'll do it this week. A live demo. I'm going to be doing it right in front of downstairs tonight, right in front of Margaritas. We don't have ice water. In front of Margaritas with everybody watching. Yeah, Next that would week. work. Well, yeah, that would definitely work. During yeah. the week, we'll, get a, the, week. we'll now, do the what, ice bucket now, challenge. What happens now? He has challenged you. Does he have to pay or who pays the, he uh, pays. the donation? No, no. Basically, we, we do the ice bucket challenge to raise and, awareness. Uh, tell right. that guy Tibbetts I'm going to get on a Greeley Street and dump a bucket on his head if he don't do it too. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, uh, Mr. Alderman of Watch 12, uh, Mr. Hirschman, have you uh, challenged your colleagues on the board? I did, but uh, the illustrious Joe Kelly didn't accept. I think he's going to write a check out to ALS. Yeah, you mean Joe ah. Lavasser. Yeah. The other guy that I challenged is playing an ALS golf tournament, so they're getting money from that guy. Good. Uh, I guess everybody's paying one way or another. Good, good, good. Hey, Keith, we're only promoting the Tropical Punch Spice tonight, not the bubble gum. <laughs> well, I actually uh, changed the channel from my ball game to uh, congratulate Moose, okay? So, I know. Thank uh, you. Congratulations, Moose, on being a grandpa. That's awesome. Peter... See you on the trail, Don. We're getting uh, Gorstown Road paved uh, in about ten days, so keep smiling, brother. Yeah, I'll be with you. Thank you once again, Keith. Uh, Hurts. Take man. care, guys. Okay, thanks. that's great. Well, Keith, uh, one of the uh, great aldermen of Ward Twelve, Mr. Keith Hirschman. The oh, only calling in the mist. Yeah, the show not tonight. one of them. Wow. The only. He's the only Keith Hirschman. The only, yeah, doing a great job. Not to get confused with the other Keith Hirschman. And by the way, he's doing a great job in Watch 12. That's right. Yeah, I lived there. Yeah, and us three live in Watch 12. Yeah, and Haven your Road. Yeah. Because yeah. I asked him to. Yeah. Hope you don't mind, Keith. Yeah. No, it's because I skateboard, <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's going to give me some nice paper. You still break out the board once in a while? Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, yeah. I got the long board to show me. It scares the, the uh, uh, Pakistanis at the corner store. You know, because I'll come in, I, bring, I hang the board on on the counter while I go to shop, right? And then they come back and they go, you ride that? I go, yeah. They go, really? Aren't you old? I go, did you say that to me? I am not old. Okay? I am a just, you can skateboard at any age. Don't forget, Fred Astaire broke his wrist at age 74 in a pool trying to skateboard. John Eric, can you pay attention, please? Well, uh, with chicks out there, he can't pay attention. We've had the same picture of the lovely woman. It's been up a long time. Well, it's 1038 out there, Manchester. Uh, the oh, 1038. Well, we're going to say hi to our friends. And, uh, Michelle at McGarvey's. Okay. We always do it at 1030. We always say hello to everybody who is watching the show. Uh, McGarvey's with the lovely Michelle. And, uh, oh, God. The pint with the lovely uh, Dawn. The yes, Dawn, the lovely yeah. Dawn. Great bartender, by the yep. way. Yep. And uh, you got uh, Michelle as the waitress. You got Rachel down there. Well, I don't know. The, the, the Rover might pint. have it on yeah. tonight. I'm not sure. Yeah, I forgot and, to go uh, there. Is my good? Friend's Pub. Yes, My Friend Pubs. Uh, they're out there. And a good going back to the point. Don't forget that great friend, uh, Mr. Roy. Always wear the blue shirt. Yeah, a great uh, another. Didn't see him tonight. Buddy. No, no. Well, we saw um, Patrick. Is Mr. Good. Patrick Arnold and yeah. the missus, absolutely. And um, did we leave anybody else tonight there, uh, Peter? Uh, I think you got everybody. Okay, about, uh, 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 did we mention Pierre and Michelle? Yeah, who cares? 
<laughs> no, I'm only kidding. How about, can I say anything more about the stupidnessness? Yes. Okay. Oh, bye. Okay, okay. stupidnessnessness. Okay. Which I talked about before. You know, Rimmon Heights. Again, they have the beautiful thing out there. The paint is still peeling. Are you kidding me? Is it rusting? No. It just painted, so it's gray. So the black is gone and it's gray. And it looks like crap. Does that sound and as like I that? said last time, you know, Matt Gatz I'm going to just get black paint, rust oleum, sh spray the crap on it, make it look nice, you know, because that's why they put it up. What I thought it was to rot make it look iron. nice. It's not a real rot iron it's thing. It's iron, just... but it, whatever paint they put on already peeled. It's terrible, 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 terrible. You know? So, uh, pet peeve. I would have to say. Maybe you should paint it a different color. No. Maybe orange. I'll, yeah, aquamarine. Yeah, orange. No. Oh, yeah. Orange. Oh, no, she'd like orange. Orange is the new moose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then, the, you know, the other crapola oh. is, uh, you know, at where Montgomery Street comes into Gosnell Back Road. There was an accident. Okay. Right. A motorcycle got hit. Guy. I mean, okay, fine. What happens? The person who did at the stop sign wasn't looking, and that's why they hit the motorcycle. Because car people don't see motorcyclists. That's the number one thing for accidents all the time. The left hand turn in front or whatever. But there are implicitly old people that don't see motorcyclists because they're like this compared to a vehicle. Right. Okay. So they're talking about, oh, wow. This is bad. We got to put a, 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 a light there. Are you out of your mind? If they put a light there, the traffic, because I don't know if you know about Gosson Back Road, but there is mega traffic on that every morning. Okay? It's already backed up like crazy. They put another light there, you're out of your mind. It's going to kill, kill. What the Why heck? don't people just become aware of driving? Open your eyes, know what the heck is going on. You can't all of a sudden change everything because of one accident. Because guess what? There's going to be accidents. That's the yeah, way it is. Yeah, they're putting a light up there. That's the way it is. No light. No Open light. your eyes. Right. Open your eyes. Oh, wow, he's like a wild Comanche. Well, I'm out of uh, control. That was, wow. uh, that was quite the uh, wow. ramble. Wow. Wow. Would, wow, that was a, I would call that a three-minute rage editorial. <laughs> well, what are we scratching your ear for? What, what, did I say something wrong? No, he was trying to find out if he could hear anymore. Oh, okay. I got a weird story. What are you going to say? I, I got a story. For, this is out, I think this is out of Florida. I'm just, because I'm just, uh, you know, yeah. Of course, well, it's I'm out tell of you Florida. This one. Believe it or not, this guy's name is Edward Cocaine. And he's a, and he's a suspect of a drug possession in Florida. Now, now get this. <laughs> Okay, this happened in Fort Lauderdale. Oh, okay. Did okay. you read this in National Lampoon? No, okay. The, okay, okay. I'll give you a little background of, of what happened to this story about this Edward Cocaine. I saw this on Miami okay. Vice this afternoon on Me TV. Okay, and I'll just give you like a couple sentences. The judge did a double take, and there were giggles, a a giggles. Oh, uh, plenty. They had to be giggles. Blonde. Court. Wednesday, when a bailiff announced the name of a of a, of a man that was arrested for drug possession. Oh yeah, and uh, of course the name was and, Edward and, Cocaine. And, and believe it or not, his name was Edward Cocaine. Oh yeah. What? I did a stun court judge named so and so named John Hale. Okay, my name is Cocaine. Probably stated that at at the podium. Oh my God. His name was indeed legal, and 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 he showed his driver's license. Hold on, he's calling now. Okay, Edward Cocaine, you're on the air. I'd like to have a few words with Tibbetts. This is Millie calling. Millie. Millie. You forgot a bar. Yeah, what are you doing? With Tibbs? Yeah. Is this live? I'm watching you. Yeah, it's live right it's now, live. but it's on delay. It's on delay, so you know. Oh, I'll turn it off then. You forgot a bar. Millie's, Millie's Tavern. 
Oh, Peter. Well, hello out there. Is this Peter Tage? This is tells his name, yes. Yeah, no, don't, but yeah. Moose Moose has problems with every word, so don't be don't be shy, Peter. <laughs> yeah, I got. Yeah. Well, I I'm never home at this time to watch the show. I got home tonight, so I thought I'd throw it on. So I I'm awesome. just enjoying watching the three of you. Oh, very good, very good. Hey, what's going on? You guys are doing a central thing uh, for Millie's on uh, November 29th, correct? Yeah, we're, uh, we're we're pouring the beer. We're sponsoring the beer uh, okay. for the road race uh, up at Berryfield. Yes. Yes, uh, John Mortimer, uh, Millennium Running. Um, Stark Brewing Company will be uh, pouring the beer. Or Millie's, we're going to be pouring the Mount U uh, and the Zeus's Belgian Vet, and it's being poured by the Rover. And we're going to be doing the beer. Nice. And also, uh, uh, Peter, you got a big event coming up, I think, September 8th. It's a comedian headlined by Nick LaValle. Yeah, it's another, uh, another benefit going on in Millie's. You know, I do tons of them. Yeah, of course you should. Oh, you. Yeah, that one there sounds like yeah. a uh, winner. Tim, Tim may remember, uh, I actually ran cross-country for four years at Derryfield Park. Uh, no, you yeah, you ran at Derryfield Park, but you were at Central. You were trying to keep yourself in shape for tennis. Uh, <laughs> Coach Clemens used to take me around in that little red car trying to find us because we'd be hiding. Me and Joe <laughs> Bannon would be hiding in the trees. Bannon, oh yeah, too true. <laughs> <laughs> good crew, good crew. Wow. And so you're talking about driving on this show. You should become a driving instructor. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I've already done that. I did motorcycle head and driver's head, and at the end, I was going to kill someone, so I had to leave. Hey, <laughs> hey, Peter, you, you know what T should do? He should drive a school bus. He, he'd be he awesome. He drive a school bus. He'd be awesome. One of those. I drove the bus for fun and son. I Are think he should me? be a crossing oh, guard. Hey, Peter, wait. Peter, <laughs> Peter, 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 crossing guard. Hey, Peter, oh, yeah. He'd be driving a short yellow bus as well. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> Peter, yeah, a short bus by T. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'd be driving a short bus, T. <laughs> oh, God. Huh? Oh, hey, you know, there are other bars in Manchester besides just on Elm Street, you know. Yes, you are correct, sir. You, yeah. you seem to forget those once in a while. Yeah, we have, to, we have to sponsor Millie's Tavern. It's been around for so long. And, uh, you know, what you've done with all your beers Good beers. is quite I extraordinary. I had yeah, a great well, time. we got to come down next week and get you going, yeah. I had a great time yeah, at the you, beer you, fest, you Peter. see what's happening with the beers. The beers are going to blow up soon. I've got these <laughs> people from out of country and out of state asking for my beers and um, trying to figure out how I can make enough beer right now. That's good I, news. It's a great thing to have a problem like that. <laughs> <laughs> As a matter of fact, yeah. Peter uh, Peter White was wearing uh, your, your T-shirt uh, two weeks ago. Millie's Tavern T-shirt. He was. Yeah, he was. He looked very spiffy. Oh. Very good. Well, Peter. thanks. What did say? It said thanks, Moose. You? Yeah, I'm, uh, <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> no one can figure out what it means, <laughs> which is the best. Moose should be able to figure that out. Yeah, I, yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't figure anything out. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't even figure myself out. <laughs> he does, Peter. He doesn't even know what's going on right now. Well, I just want to call, and say hello, and uh, thank you guys for having me a few weeks ago. Tib, I filled in for you a few weeks ago. You were you were missing in action, and uh, that's right. You did a great job on the show. You did a great job, Peter. We got to get you back on here. Yeah, I'd be glad to come back. Anytime, yeah, my any, friend. Anytime. Just, when you're mentioning bars in Manchester, just don't forget the one brewery, will you? You bet. You got it, man. You got it. I love you guys. Keep up the good work. Okay, thanks, Peter. All right. So well, he must be talking about Panucci's then. <laughs> <laughs> no, way better, way better. Uh, way better. Well, Millie's Tavern. Yeah, Millie's uh, Tavern. Uh, uh, great stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, local beers. We had yeah. a great time at that brew fest. We did. That yeah, was and, fun. You know, he's won at awards and everything with yeah. his beers. He's yeah, always, he does, you yeah. know, I mean, and they have a lot of entertainment there, and the food's good, so, you know, there you go. You're, you're next tonight on Amsterdam. Get a caller. Peter Papadopoulos. All right, what's going on, man? How are you? Good, what's going down? Not much. We're going to talk to these guys about the city of Manchester. <laughs> yes, we'd like to mention that uh, the Patriots will beat Miami this year. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. 
I don't know about that one. Do you? No, about to uh, kill them. Come on. Uh, I, I, I think T. I, I think I, I think T may have had a, a little. little T might have had a little hidden information about this caller. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? I'm not sure. I think we know who it is. Is it Mike Doyle? All right. So, so we we, we want to hear all about your thoughts on the uh, opening weekend Dolphin Patriots matchup. I want to know your thoughts. No, Sean Moreno. No, Sean Moreno is going to be a stud. I think so, too. Watch out for Ryan Tannehill and Brandon Gibson. Ryan Tannehill, my caller, he's a stiff. He's (laughs) he's awful. (laughs) That's coming from a Jets fan. (laughs) Oh, yeah, my J. Oh, my goodness. My J- Jets fans in Manchester? My J-E-T-S, yeah, which is for them Super Bowl bound. You hear it first uh, on August 21st from the Moose. Nothing, not, I, I won't settle for nothing else. J-E-T-S. J-E-T-S fans have Michael Vick and Geno Smith. you got a better chance of winning crafts in Vegas with them two guys. <laughs> Don't forget about their pal, Eric Decker. Oh, my goodness. Eric Decker. When, when has he ever been good? Exactly. Oh, Manning. Well, well, I don't know. Anyhow, on a, on a serious note for the Master Jam crew, when is the union leader going to start covering Manchester sports instead of Bedford and Gostov? I don't know. That's a problem, I think. It's a huge problem. I talked to John Abib about that. Very often, but yeah, yeah. I believe that, to be honest with you, the little league kids, the youth football sports, growing up in the city of Manchester, being a sports guy, we always had our names in the paper on a daily basis. Right. We're talking about the Little League World Series now. These little league kids, they get once a week, they get a they get a section in the union leader, but Goffstown and Bedford and yeah, times have know, changed. Candia, they they get all the coverage. Yeah, definitely. I, uh, did Johnny Habib get hit in the head? Is that what happened from Joe McQuaid or what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, McQuaid, I mean, you know, if you're the publisher of the, uh, the uh, union leader. All he does is do this little lottie dot. He's never done a serious uh, editorial in his life. And, you know, I, when I saw him live, you know, I say, hey, can you do something? I mean, you know, he thinks he's a, just a little jokester. I mean, come on. You're in You're running and have two Let's go. Beautiful let's go. Get off. Ball. Get off the baloney. I agree. Word. Get off the baloney word and let's go here for crying out loud. Well, this no, is me I off. agree. You know, I mean, this is, I mean, the last time I checked it, I mean, it was the Manchester Union leader. And we're, we're taken away from the youth sports. We don't have a problem making stories about the inner city uh, robberies and shootings and stuff like that, but what about the positive stuff that the kids do for the city? Exactly. Get positive a little bit. I don't know if they have a a Manchester edition and... uh, Yes, they do. They They have a Manchester edition and a state edition. Okay, but they don't do that anymore, I don't think, because they don't oh, even they print it. They most certainly do. They yeah. don't even print it over on Industrial Drive anymore. Oh, I, I don't know where they print it. Wow. But they have a Manchester yeah, right. section. Okay, when thanks, you, Carla. When you buy Manchester, you get it here. If you're out of uh, Manchester, you know, like your North Country or whatever, you still get the Union Leader, but it's not the Manchester edition. Yeah, I, I see I seen two different uh, uh, Union Leaders in one yeah. day. You're lucky. Yeah. Hi, you're next tonight on Amsterdam with T, White, and Elbert. Oh, you guys cut me off. I know, I did that. What, uh, yeah. I, uh, okay, I, uh, I, thought you were, <laughs> I thought you were finished. Okay, get it, uh, Carla. Finish up. We got, All right, uh, I, I, just, I, I just got one more thing. Uh, I, you know I don't what? Know. No. You, guys do, you guys do a great job, and if Don Tibbetts is not the mayor of Manchester within mm-hmm. the next 20 years, it's a travesty. You're, I, you know what, Carla? I agree. In 20 years, if he doesn't become mayor, there has to be wow. an investigation. He'll be 84. He'll be, he'll be 84 in 20 years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thanks, my friend. Oh, good night, guys. Okay, thank thanks. you. Thanks right for calling. I, thank uh, you. I, I'll tell you right now. I'll, I went to school. I know who that was. I don't think he won. I don't know. But uh, yeah. I play kickball with that kid. Yes, that exactly. was funny though. Yeah, <laughs> Twenty years exactly. here, we played some kickball. Great kid, great, great, great family. But as far as me being mayor, only if I find out what they do with the general fund would I become mayor to expose it all and make sure the money goes to the right people. Yeah, like us. 
<laughs> no, the people. Do you hear what Peter said? In 20 years, you'd be 85 as the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. Yeah, you could. Sure, you could. I've been ballroom dancing since sixth grade. Really? Yes. Oh, we have two young ladies. Do you want to ball dance now for the last uh, couple of minutes? Ball dance? Ball dance. Do you want no, ball I dance? Do I want ballroom dancing. So, oh. oh, no. Kelly knows. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Of course. Wow. You know, cha cha tango. You can't sit still. Maybe Rula. the lovely Shelby can be your partner. In, oh, yeah. Uh, she'd love to be. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's move there on. There we go. All right. We got uh, four, uh, four minutes uh, left. Uh, four this, minutes uh, left. All right, don't forget the uh, third annual Sam Carey New Hampshire Alumni All-Star Classic, August 22nd at 7 p.m. at Manchester Central. It's, uh, of course, the one of Sam Carey, but also to raise funds for the Rock On Foundation, created by the Spurs' Matt Bonner and his brother Luke. Takes only 10 bucks. Uh, 6 p.m., there's a high school All-Star game first and then the other game. And the Celtics mascot, Lucky, will be there. That's Raffles a picture. are everywhere. That's a picture of Joel Elber, Mayor, 2034. <laughs> <laughs> John O'Neill finally oh, woke up. Looking good. Yeah. Looking good, Moose. How do you get the ears right? <laughs> Looking good. <laughs> well, you make me look good there. At least, uh, at least I got here in the middle. There. Oh, oh, yeah. My That's God. your toupee. <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, you two pez. Uh, head shop, any action this weekend? Nothing. Nothing, okay. Nothing. We got parties happening. We're yeah. not playing out loud. Did you have any head shop action this week? Uh, no head shop. Uh, no, I haven't had any action and but, uh, whatever. But, um, uh, you know what? I was going uh, uh, um, yeah. How about you? Oh, I had some. Oh, okay. That's uh, okay. So that's uh, okay. That's, we got uh, the Joe Sullivan Memorial uh, Scholarship Fund, a golf thing happening. It's that was today. Legends. Right? No, oh, okay. it's going to be the tw September twenty third. Okay. It's uh, miniature golf. So you pay twenty I'm bucks. A big fan. Get a we'll laugh like crazy. We're going to do it. Okay, I'm oh, in. Yeah. Our team. Our okay. Team. Yep. We need another person? Nah, John yeah, we'll Eric. get a fourth. We'll get a fourth. Yeah, John Eric. Yeah. John yeah. Eric O'Neill. We, we need his if putting. He, if he can get his stuff together tonight. He will. I know. He's, we'll he, he's been very hockey. He's been very, very yeah. busy. Yeah. Now. yeah, he's been very busy. Um, uh, Sunday, uh, John Hopwood uh, having a fundraiser. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Hopwood. I don't even call Look, it a he's fundraiser. Got, he I call some, it a, he's got yeah. some great signs out there. Yeah, I call it a fundraiser. Yeah, we saw him tonight with a nice young lady and... Uh, his show uh, is taped tomorrow in, uh, afternoon at 11 a.m. and shown on Saturday night, I believe, at 9 p.m. Yeah, Ward 14. Like Ward 14. Yeah. Uh, think of uh, replays. Uh, Ward 13. Ward 13. Think of replays. Uh, the Manson Dam replays uh, technically on a Saturday at 12.01 a.m. Also, you can catch us on Saturday and Sunday night at 10 p.m. on Channel 23. Yeah, they got the in town fest happening too, also here in town, the twenty third. You know, it's a beautiful thing. The family fest. Yeah, it's a big, a big to do. You know, if you can get involved with it, please be get involved because it's a very nice uh, function that's going on right here in the big match. Uh, the theme is princess and pirates, so put on a patching. I die, I die. Or you could, uh, yeah, just wear an eye patch. That's arg, arg, right. not well, arg, no. not arg, arg, no r. What'd you say? R. That's only one letter. Not arg. Are you kidding me? Pirates don't go. How many go pirates arg. you hung out with? <laughs> How many have you hung out with? Well, about eighteen. It's r. It's arg. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're drinking the grog. It's not, it's not <laughs> r. No, it's grog and arg and I did, I did, I did. It's yeah. changed since since you were a kid. Maybe a fortnight before. It changed today. since you were a kid. Mm. Is it true they drink Bacardi Captain Rum? Those pirates. <laughs> no. It's not Bacardi. Oh, it's not. Captain Morgan, no, I no, the spice. Right. I thought they said they'll be coming Morgan. your way, mate. I thought they said. I can't believe you. I thought they that. said, "Yo ho ho!" You need and a bottle be. of rum. Of All right. Of course, I'll take a bottle uh, of rum. Ten fifty-nine. <laughs> what do you think? Where are you um, going? Uh, <laughs> Where are you? Uh, do you want to say a couple you words before we wrap this up? Hey! We'll go right around the table here. No, we'll close it's very the show. Great. You know, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, called in tonight. And please, please tell your friends to call in. Because what the heck? We're about having people in Manchester. Right. 
Well, it's summertime anyway, so you know. I will say, I think I put a date for the Amsterdam season premiere. It's going to yeah, be the last wow. Wednesday in September. Very nice, and so of course, that's when uh, it's going down. don't forget the lovely haircuts. That's why oh. they look so good. Yeah, they look Stephanie, awesome. Stephanie, thank they you. The stash. Michael Thomas. Hello. I feel great still. I feel great. I feel my haircut still. Like, I love it. I yeah. love it. Stephanie, you did a uh, great We're going to wrap this up for uh, Don Tippett, Peter White. A great producer, uh, Eric John O'Neill. He's a he's not um, a producer. He's actually a technical director. A technical director. Our two good friends tonight, Shelby and Kelly. I'm yeah. Joel Moose Elber, and we'll see you next time. Rock on! Next week. I say next.